out for a uh, Saturday ride. Good day. Today, the thing that I want to tell you guys about, the piece of gear, two pieces of gear that I'm testing, is this helmet on my head. This is the Z1 by Laser Helmets. I think you can check them out, Laser Helmets, L-A-Z-E-R, helmets.com. Um, and also these glasses. Now, if you look at the glasses, you'll notice there's no stem. They just kind of stop at the temples there. And that's because on the strap of the helmet, right there, there's a magnet. And then on the glass, there's a magnet. I'll show you. See? So there are two settings on the glass, two settings on the temples, one in front of the other. So depending on the kind of the depth of your face, uh, that's how you connect it. But really awesome, kind of a graded tint. As you can see there, I'm really liking them. This particular pair that I have came with three different lenses. Uh, this one that you see here, which was the sun, the yellow lens, kind of snow and overcast weather, things like that. And then a uh, clear lens. And this helmet also comes with an aero shell. We're gonna be testing some aero road helmets coming up. Uh, and this one is just a regular road helmet when you want it, but you put that shell on it, and you've got an aero road helmet. It's been a while since we talked about anything laser. I think like, three or four years or something like that. And uh, one of the great things about this is that the tensioning system, their roll system, is different than other helmets you can see. It's on the crown of the helmet there. Now this is an updated roll tensioning system in that they've gotten rid of some of the excess material around it and really lighten it up. Um, it's in this helmet that we're wearing now, that I'm wearing now, and then another helmet that's gonna be coming up very soon. Both of which have the Aero Road shell, uh, which you can see here. It's really a cool system, just kind of snaps on, it's just a plastic shell, creates much less drag. And then uh, here's the roll system that I was talking about, a little less ten, uh, weight on that. The ride I'm doing today is one of my favorites, uh, just kind of around, not really, kind of the northern part of the uh, Ironman Boulder 70.3. Bike course. I'd hope to be able to ride to uh, Carter Lake today, which is that way back there. But as you can see, all these storms, these storms that are along the horizon, you can see the dumping rain right there. There's more rain over there, some rain right there. This is all kind of swirling and moving up that way. And then on the back side of that, which you might not be able to see, so we can zoom in, there's more weather rolling up on the back side of where Carter Lake is. So, in an effort to not get dumped on, caught in a thunderstorm, or otherwise incapacitated, I decided to uh, keep it closer, not quite as long. That ride would about three hours. This is about an hour and a half, give or take. Um, if you'd like to follow me on Strava, track all these rides, except for this one, uh, I did manage to leave out a big chunk of it, <laughs> thanks to not leaving on the auto pause and then restarting at some point. But um, if you'd like to track it, you can check out the uh, Strava link right at the top when you see the social media links right here. You can just click that Strava link right at the top and follow me if you're on Strava. And uh, yeah, check it out. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this episode of Gearist Daily. If you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us by emailing info at gearist.com. Visit gearist.com right there, which you can see. Um, and follow us on all our social media outlets, which you see right here to our right. We'd love to hear from you. So if you've got any questions or comments about this or any of our videos, don't forget to leave it in the comment section down below. Thanks so much, you guys. We'll see you next time.